emotional health. We've been consulting with uh, mental health and emotional health professionals for years. And the things that we show and share and the things that many of you are criticizing and calling abusive are actually things that mental health professionals have uh, counseled us to do. All right, guys, welcome back to my channel, Down the Rabbit Hole News. I am the rabbit. All right, now, th there's more information coming about Ruby's situation and the charges with Jody Hilbrandt. Prosecutors allege that Frank and Hilbrandt either caused or allowed the torture of a 12-year-old and the 10 year old so both of these children were injured i wanted to talk a little bit about kevin because a lot of people feel like well you know he didn't know they separated everything if these allegations were made a couple years ago when did it get as bad as duct tape and injuries and malnourishment when did it go that bad and was kevin aware of all of this like was he not having was he not allowed contact with his children because as of today, they're still married. So was he not asking to see the kids? Or what What role did he play in this situation? And I think that's the most important question that people need to be asking, okay? We've been consulting with uh, mental health and emotional health professionals for years. And the things that- Some of these treatment centers that are in Utah specifically have since closed. I'm not sure if the one that Ruby is stating is open. The program that they use, uh, the wilderness program that they use is still in operation. But um, some of these centers and treatments have closed because what they realize is restrictive environments don't necessarily work for children and mental health needs and treatment. So uh, keep that in mind. So as of today, Ruby and Kevin are still married, right? Nothing has changed. Um, Kevin was spotted at the Utah house, the one that they once shared, where he once used to live. And this is where a lot of the allegations of the abuse were coming from. He was spotted there. The Daily Mail, who I guess spoke to a lot of the neighbors there, they spoke out and basically said that once Kevin left, the kids stopped going to school. And so the children would knock at the neighbor's doors while those kids were at school and so you had these children that were knocking at the door and were basically asking if so and so can come out to play right i don't know if you guys remember those times where you know you go to your neighbor's house and you know maybe your best friends live in there and you would knock and so then these neighbors would answer the door and they'd be like well no um you know little susie or little robbie is at school right now and so the children would be like well i'll just wait and they would wait outside for the children to show up. This community, uh, according to the Daily Mail, has been speaking out and has been adamant about the fact that people haven't been doing anything. People haven't been doing anything about the abuse. And so this is why I go back to Kevin, who has since decided to return to the property. He must have known something was up. It, they weren't divorced. So it's not like he's asking for any type of visitation or anything that we know of. Uh, I'm kind of concerned and I do feel like he probably was aware that there was something going on with the disciplines that she was applying. Jody would use these kids to go pull weeds at her property as a form of punishment. Now, the other thing I want to also add to this is the fact that, um, you know, it seems like, in my opinion, everybody in the family is trying to save face by making such a statement. Uh, well, you know, we knew about this and I'm so glad the police got involved. Okay. So I guess my question and something that we will never know is how many of those reports from CPS were actually made by family members versus the community. And like I said, why this is an important topic is because when a long, long time ago, there was the case of Gabriel Hernandez, which Netflix did a whole docu-series on. And it showed not only the failure of those that love Gabriel that were around him, but also the failure of the community to not have reported those concerns. So this is why I think it's important to shout out that community that made those allegations, that made those calls, that did report, and those that are speaking out. Because clearly these people were have been lying um, and have put, essentially, uh, past themselves as as counselors, therapists, mom influencers, family content creators to put up a um, facade that they are the image of the perfect parenting. And I'm glad that other people have seen it the other way. That Those are just my opinions. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. 
of course, you know, as things are developing, we will continue to report. Now, also, do me a favor. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. I don't do that enough. I'm noticing that I'm not saying that enough. So please do so, and that way you can receive all the information as well as be up to date um, as things are progressing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Rabbit time. We've been consulting with uh, mental health and emotional health. We've been consulting with uh, mental health and emotional health professionals for years. And the things that we show and share and the things that many of you are criticizing and calling abusive are actually things that mental health professionals have uh, counseled us to do. We got accused of child abuse when we sent Chad to Anasazi. Guess what? The first thing that they did was take a bed away. They, they don't have beds. People are really triggered. And so if you are triggered and you're upset because of something Kevin and I have done with our children that is actually working really well for us, then I would invite you to look at it and ask yourself, what, what is it that I'm projecting onto this situation because... So we've learned through experience that when people get triggered or get upset by something, it usually is because that something means something.